Should Larry Wheels be pulling in a hook? No, and I'm gonna explain why. I kinda did this video yesterday, and while I was editing it, new video on Larry Wheels channel came out. Him and Derek Smith working on table. And at first, like few seconds I see they're in a hook, and I'm like, maybe I have to watch this video, and maybe I will change some perspective. I watched the video, uh, and they were just working on fundamentals, and uh, you know, Derek showed him a good variation of hook, and uh, I kind of didn't change my opinion on things, and I'm gonna explain. One of the most asked questions, and one of the things I see time and time again in comments, in Instagram and YouTube, doesn't matter, it's like, why didn't you teach Larry how to hook? Because he has huge bicep, and huge bicep means strong hook, and I'm like, there's so much more into hook than just having big arms. So first time we're standing on table, one of the first things I asked him was like, you know, show me what you would do if we would be in a match. You, what, what would be your natural response? And he showed me top roll. Just show me. So we're standing there, there's referee there. We're waiting for ready, go. Ready, go. Boom. Okay, so try again without the elbow hold. Okay. Ready, go. So you want to go for top roll? Yeah. Okay, so it's top roll. Okay, so, uh, and you can see some confusion because I really was expecting him to say he wants to pull and hook because that's what I saw from, you know, from videos, from comments, from everyone there. But working with someone on table, you get better perspective on what they are, uh, how they are pulling, what their strengths, weaknesses, and things like that, and what is easier to work on. So first of all, we're gonna talk about what counts as a great hook. So let's just talk about two things. We can talk about much more, but first would be having a really good hand. Like your, your hook is obsolete when you cannot get in. That's when you have flop wrist press or just a press, something like that. If you have really good cup, ability to crush your opponent's pronator and to have a dominant position or suck them in, however you want to call it, that's huge advantage. Larry with a right arm, he didn't have it. Second thing was his range of motion was limited, like he couldn't come closer. If you look at every great hook puller in the history of our sport, you will notice one similarity. They're very good at drawing their opponents in, staying really close, staying really tight and being really, really hard to open or to beat. Larry stays too much open, he gives too many different uh, possibilities for every arm wrestler basically to utilize them and to beat him pretty easily in my opinion. So without those two things, uh, hook right now isn't an option. So straight away, his instinct was to top roll me, he said he wants to top roll me, I was like okay we'll focus on that. For him to have a better top roll, he already has one huge advantage. His hand was same size that I have, but it was two times thicker. Having thicker hands is again huge advantage. First of all, like your opponent needs to deal with all this mass. He needs to use more force to turn, to cup, whatever. And you have to use a little bit less force to pronate or to cup or to basically uh, get in position because it has so much mass, the hand already has mass and it's a bigger helper uh, when it's strong and you know how to use it. So uh, guys with big hands that have really strong hands use it as a huge advantage and basically Larry just right now hasn't figured out how to use it. His cup was falling apart, this is why like in my opinion back pressure motion would be better. When he gets solid hand then everything else becomes possible. But the ability to stay tight, to stay close, is kind of crucial. Uh, great example is Krasimir Kostadino. Krasimir right now has limited range on his arm. Even, even uh, Michael Todd. Like, he cannot come closer. He cannot really hook because it leaves his arm kind of exposed. Like, if you look at Krasimir's style, it, it has changed. You know, he uses much more top roll. He's... Uh, arm wrestling completely different, you know, with then back in the day. And it's because of that limited range. And again, when you are Krasimir or Michael's level, you kind of work over it and use them, you know, a little bit differently. But it's, it's not advantage in my opinion, it's kind of disadvantage. And you have more advantage there when you're trying to top roll. So my opinion right now, at least right now, 
Larry develops stronger cup, stronger hand, better defense for his uh, pronator, and then he can slowly add some hook into his game. Because right now, in my opinion, it's just not the right option for him to become better faster. Hook kind of slows you down, especially when you cannot get that tight, when you kind of stay too exposed. It can lead to injuries, it can lead to like much longer recovery times and things like that. It still needs conditioning. And um, I believe his chest is strong, but I believe his chest can support his top roll better than he can support his hook. Another thing was when we were practicing on table and I said like, let's try hook and get in. Like as soon as we got in and I said, pull through, he was not pulling in hook. He was top rolling me. I press you, I'm gonna pull you here. Two at the same time, do it. Cup, okay. Stay close, stay close, forward, and stay there, just stay there, stay there, try to beat me, slowly, don't, don't lose anything, but try to get me, yeah, and here you went to top roll, <laughs> well, I was trying to keep the cup, as the cup is yeah. weak, so, yeah, yeah, but, so, this is for everyone who, you know, cannot find the difference, or doesn't understand the difference, so, our hand is in, like, let's say, two lanes, if you pick this lane, this side of the arm, everything, like if the pressure comes through this, it's a hook. It doesn't matter how it looks like. If you do this, you know, arm open, whatever, it's inside motion because it's going inside through your small finger through this side. Everything that goes right here, when you kind of stay like this or pull or drag or whatever, it doesn't matter. You can be even in these kind of positions. It's a top roll. It's a outside move inside outside so looking back at most of his matches i'm like no he's he wasn't hooking you know he was basically open top rolling so in my opinion developing those strengths again i'm gonna double down on it will make him better armor so much much faster at some point he will need to have a strong hook but it's better to you know develop hook when you have that hand control, when you when you can kind of, I, I like to say, because RVJ just said it, lead the dance, because you can get in those positions. You you can, uh, you know, put your opponent where you want, and then you develop that inside game if you need it. You know, a lot of armistice really don't need it. So just to say that his bicep is big and this is the reason why he should pull and hook is complete nonsense. So this is just answering most of comments and questions and why did I do what I did you know when I was there because uh, in arm wrestling it's like all the time we can fix things there's so many things that we can fix there's so many questions so many different answers that you can have it's I it's easier to start with one or two and focus on that and when those things are not the problem anymore you will find a different problem and you will work on it it's kind of continuous journey so my hand is strong enough to beat nine guys out of ten but if i cannot beat that ten guy i i need a stronger hand so the same goes for larry wheels let's fix these things and then we will focus on something else and you will come better i hope this video answers some of your questions uh, if you want to support this channel have more videos coming out please become patreon link is in the description stay strong and love arm wrestling